hello hello everybody it's your girl desolate tarot and i'm back for another tarot reading at work before work it's saturday y'all it's saturday <laughs> and i'm still here i'm still here 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 <laughs> But anyway, like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit that notification bell to be notified of when I upload and when I go live. And please, if you would like to book a private reading, everything is in the description box. So you don't really even have to ask me, how do you do this and how do you do that? It's there. It's there. <laughs> but anywho, um, let's get into this. You already know everything is all alleged and for entertainment purposes only. And so modern science can come up with a mathematical equation. Or we can actually use several cards in court and um, convict people. <laughs> You know what I mean? But until then, let's just have fun with it. Okay, so I, I already told y'all that I'm over it. I had enough of that beef and stuff because I feel like it's low vibe. But um, in my other reading, I kind of said, um, well, Akbar V, she thinks Nicki Minaj is going to do a lot for her. But I don't really feel like she's going to do a lot for her. And, uh, and a part of it is that it's never really a good idea to... Um, to be man to be managed or whatever by an artist you see what i'm saying to be you, in that way because they're always going to put their career first okay because so basically if you've been working really hard for months you've been in the stew you know doing you and you feel like you got a solid body of work to come out with an album and it's going to be really good if they have an album coming out i kind of feel like they're i mean you know when it comes to situations like that they're going to push their album before they push yours because they have a bottom line too so with me when it comes to different artists i kind of feel like unless that artist is going to back away from music and go to the um the the behind the scenes size like management and only stick there i kind of feel like well you know i don't know so to me i, I don't i kind of picked up on that but uh mm. so basically is this rumor that um arc bar v is going to get signed by Nicki minaj and i kind of feel like mm, i don't know or is she signed or whatever but i'm going to get some energy surrounding the whole akbar v and Nicki minaj type thing like if she's going to be signed by her and see to be honest with you unless something real major happens i'm not covering no beef between Nicki minaj and cardi b because at the end of the day like i honestly feel like this i don't know them hoes them some rich hoes I work every day. I don't give a damn. <laughs> and unless they fighting at this point, I don't give a damn. Unless they going to square up one-on-one, -on -one, I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn about them dissing each other. I don't feel like I don't care for no subtweeting. I'm tired of listening to that mess. Okay? I want to sit there. If y'all ain't about to duke it out, shut up. Shut up. Y'all too old for that. Shut up. That's how I feel. <laughs> Y'all got kids and everything. Shut up. <laughs> and do and, and do something else. I mean, they already called Nicki Minaj the queen of rap. So there is no reason to be trying to battle somebody for a title that you so-called already have. And then with Cardi B, Cardi B don't even want to go into a rap battle. I mean, it, it don't make sense. You know, it just don't. But anywho, let, let's go into it. With Ark Barbie. Well, Ark Bar V, will Ark Bar V get signed with some type of deal with Nicki Minaj? And will Nicki Minaj catapult her to an A-list rapper? As an A-list rapper, will she really further Ark Bar V's career to an extent where, you know, Ark by V comes out with an album and everybody wants to buy it. That type of thing. One, two, three. You have the Father of Stones in the West in the reverse. Okay. So that is the King of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay. Um, usually they're wise with money. They know how to um, invest well and they're stable they make good bets good decisions um they're long-term people okay they're there for the long term 
those are the guys who got they who got they ducks in the whole row. I'm just giving you right, and they give really good sound advice when it comes to the material security, stability, and wealth. Okay, those the people, those the people that you want to be around, that you want to walk with, because they will fund you. They will do everything they need to do to get you on your feet with good advice, good investments everything else like that and they're going to invest in you then they're going to do it the right way in the reverse it's a no it's a male energy it's a it's a masculine energy right so it could be a male but also it could be the energy of it because if you think about a big time mogul or something like that it's a lot of masculinity around here that got money okay and you think of masculinity right um this is somebody who does not invest well in people, places, and things. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is somebody who's not stable. This is somebody who make bad business deals. This is somebody who does not stick around for the long run. Okay? And also, they're the type of people who can be gold diggers, but they just don't know how to be a gold digger. You know? So they may just want you for a particular thing. And, you know, they don't know how to really finesse it or whatever the right way. What else do I have? You have the nine of wands in the reverse. So this is somebody who's vulnerable. With the nine of wands upright, usually it says power. The um, nine of wands upright is usually somebody who is ready to still fight the good fight even though they may be battered and bruised they're still ready for round two in the reverse they're in a vulnerable situation okay and then it's the daughter in the west this is the page of pentacles okay the page of pentacles talks about youth youthful fresh a lot of potential about a coin money Okay, so this is someone who hasn't been in the game longer than the King of Pentacles has. Because the King of Pentacles is supposed to be long term. This is useful. This is new energy. They got to figure out how they want their stability, security, and wealth. You know what I'm saying? And there's all this potential in this coin. So I got that for Akbar. Remember, I got that for Akbar in my last video, and she was the Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Well, I mean, not video. Ooh, let me get it right. I made a post on my community wall, and she had the Page of Pentacles in the reverse. So, right here's the Page of Pentacles upright. So, she has the potential, money making potential. And the whole time, I wouldn't be surprised if she gave her a coin to do certain stuff. But these two energies one is ciphering over the other because one is taking advantage of someone's vulnerability okay that's just what it looked like somebody's taking advantage of someone's vulnerability they may have given them something or gave them the opportunity for something but it's an opportunity mm, the business deal agreement whatever it may be there's a sense of, I'm taking advantage of this situation. I'm taking advantage of this person. You know? And then not only that, like, there's a sense of not being long-term. Okay? And then the Queen of Wands comes out. The Queen of Wands is what? Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. The Queen of Wands is someone who's well-established, who's... An independent woman has their own thing going on. They make their own money. You know, they look beautiful. They're in their own position. They're dominant. And you know, it's, I keep talking about Kali, right? You know, she's dominant. She's that person, you know. She's a very powerful woman. And she gives good advice about business, about creativity, security, and wealth. Okay. Um, no, I said, oh, no, 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 It's about creativity, partnerships, actions. Okay? So, to be honest with you, Nicki Minaj is going to do whatever she wants to do. Okay? With her. 
maybe there is a man that's in the mix that is not helping her that might be ciphering over her or it may be a woman y'all tell me who it is but the Kylie comes up upright the um queen of wands comes up upright so look like three different people in this situation so i kind of feel like maybe she's going to give advice but i don't feel like i don't know i just feel like there's something that just ain't right okay so I'm, uh, i think I think Arkbar V is being used or taken advantage of in a way because they see this expectation of a coin. It's it's a it's a they see the the the, the earning potential, so they're ciphering it. That's how I kind of feel, but I kind of do feel like in the long run, mm, no. But for the right now, I mean, I guess giving advice or whatever the case may be. Or, you know, drop a coin here and there. You know, probably help out a little bit, but not really. It's really a, it's really a, in the, I'm in a vulnerable position type C. That's how I'm kind of feeling about it. But judgment is in the back, so it's a new chapter for her. So, I wouldn't be surprised. Because I wonder how long she's been talking to Nicki Minaj. So, let's see. Wow. Well, in 10 years, will Akbar V be a steady household name? One, two, three. The devil card right here talks about contracts, bondage, toxicity, um, addictions, things like that. Uh, in 10 years, it's going to be some things. The Empress in the reverse talks about someone who's cold, someone who can be unnurturing. Someone who can be unloving. Um, someone who feels like they don't have abundance. They need more. Um, someone who is not sure of themselves in a way. Someone who don't feel that Empress energy. Um, and the Wheel of Fortune is in the reverse. Mm. Overall, it's the Eight of Swords in the reverse as well. I don't think that... Um, I don't think I think that things of her own making is going to be. I think it's her addictions, her um some toxicity. Maybe she might sign some contracts. Who knows? But she's not going to be a household name <laughs> to you. <laughs> but I love the fact that she's going to try. Okay, just try. But look, no. <laughs> but I don't know, y'all. Y'all tell me how y'all feel about that. Um. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to y'all later. I probably got one more video I can push out. So, because I got to go, y'all. I got to do my regular, regular life. I love y'all for real. Peace.